What's up guys, how are we all doing? Um, welcome to episode 2 of this little series that I'll be doing. Look, tonight I wanted to chat about two super important things that I, I feel like are pretty much a necessity for anyone who wants to better themselves, uh, learn a new skill and, and achieve their goals. Um, I pretty much live by these two things and, and those things are consistency and work ethic. Pretty much I just want to kind of you know, briefly chat through them, just through my experiences, uh, in the hopes that anyone who's watching this who is trying to do some of those things can get a, a better perspective and a, a cleaner understanding of, you know, the foundations of those two things. Um, so pretty much like a little bit of a backstory is like when I started doing this managing stuff a year ago, like I always had this vision of how consistent you needed to be and how hard you had to actually work just through like, you know, successful people's like stories and conversations but one thing I found is that like you never really actually know where the kind of how do I say it? like the benchmark like you never really know how consistent or how hard you actually have to work you just hear people saying you need to work fucking hard so I feel like consistency it will start off with consistency um, I feel like consistency the the standard is like you want to be doing things on a day-to-day -day basis you know, not like a week-to-week -week basis, not on and off every three to so days, whatever. It needs to be a day-to-day -day basis. If you're trying to take life to the next level and, and whatever it is you're trying to achieve, it needs to be day-to-day. -day. You need to build routine. And that's the first part that I feel like consistency does for us. It, it drills in routine into the human mind and the human's lifestyle. Once you get yourself into a nice, like, good routine with whatever it is you're doing, you'll start to see the results come so much quicker and that like leads to the next section consistency leads to improvement you know obviously someone who's like we'll just use sport for example because it's super easy someone who's training for like a sport any sport you know like three times a week as opposed to someone who's training every single day seven times a week that person's going to be learning more they're going to be improving themselves and yeah so I, I feel like day-to-day -day basis is where you want to get to with consistency on that um, and, and once you get to that level, you start smashing through things so much quicker and you will see the results. Now, work ethic, uh, just as important as consistency, just a little bit trickier in terms of kind of understanding it. The reason I say that is because consistency is pretty factual, right? Like you're only, you're either working every day or you're not. Like that's it. Facts are there. Whereas with work ethic, I've seen so many people do it. I've done it myself is where you, you tell yourself you're working as hard as you can when in reality you're just fucking not. You're procrastinating, you're doing all this bullshit and you just think you're working hard. You need to start with procrastination. Like, like just take a step out of your day and ask yourself, where is my time going in each day? Like how much time am I working on my craft and bettering myself and learning this new skill and achieving my goals? How much time? Just take a step back and actually calculate that. How much time are you spending fucking lounging around, chilling out? How much time are you spending watching TV, watching YouTube videos, watching Netflix? Like, I want you to do that. And that's what I mean. You need to be honest with yourself. In terms of gauging where you're at with work ethic, you need to be super aware and just honest with yourself. Otherwise, you're going to get stuck in that loophole that I said before, where you think you're working harder than you actually are. So... Once you once you gather that kind of information, it'll it'll bring you to a point. It'll bring you to a place where you kind of just like, okay, here's what I'm not doing. Here's how much time I could have if I wasn't doing all this. And look, you just need to ask yourself, how serious are you taking this in whatever it is you're doing? How good do you want to truly be? And if and if in your mind you're picturing this this high level of success and this great achievement, then all that bullshit needs to stop. Like you need to change the way you spend your time on the day-to-day -day basis. Once you get the consistency down packed and the routine down in your life, now you need to start thinking, how much time do I have in the day? We've all got the same time. Some people are utilizing their time way more than other people. Some people fuck around way too much. So you just need to be truthful to yourself. You need to be honest with that. Find what you're procrastinating on. Do you want to achieve these goals in an X amount of time? If so, then you need to put all the available time into it. Because we're not trying to achieve things that we're not that we don't want to, right? 
and that's what I, that's another little thing which is a whole other topic in itself but obviously to put in this time you need to be loving and enjoying what you're trying to achieve in terms of work ethic like there's no set you can't really set how many how many hours in the day um you need to be working on something it's more what are you doing in that time like how like with all the time you have in the day are you utilizing that to the best of your ability and you just need to be truthful to yourself if if you find yourself going over how much time you spend and doing all the other things and you go oh shit i really am wasting a lot of time then you've you've done you've like you've already completed another step you've recognized the issue now you need to you know you need to tackle it you need to start reverting all the time that you're doing on all this leisurely bullshit and convert it into doing what you want to do doing what you love achieving what you want to achieve because at the end of the day that's ultimately what we're trying to do here right we're trying to live a happy life for me as i said like i've i've had that kind of vision of where i wanted to be in terms of how hard i was working and how consistent i consistent i was and i'm still not there no way like i look at people like Dwayne the rock johnson and gary v and shit and that's where i want to be i've always had that mindset but you put it into little intervals and and every way every step of the way is a process and in the last year of doing all this music stuff, like I'm pretty happy with where I'm at in terms of you know calculating what I was doing wrong, where I was wasting my time um, for unnecessary reasons, and then just putting it all into what I uh, what I truly want to do. I think another way, which I actually missed out on, was yeah, always always recognizing that there's someone working harder than you. Like <laughs> I know that sounds so cliche in terms of when people always talk about that, but it's a fucking fact. That's why it gets spoken about so much. There is always somebody working harder than you. So I feel like when you when you really like just understand that and like accept that, it will kick another drive into you because it gives you a reason to say, fuck, I need to be working harder if like if it's not yourself that's pushing you, which, you know, is different for everyone. So that's uh pretty much yeah, just a little discussion on two things that I truly uh believe are <clears throat> Super important when wanting to achieve goals and stuff like that. Consistency and work ethic, people. And like I said, it, it it's just it's a process. You know, you just need to be truthful to yourself. You need to work on it every day. Get to that level where you're satisfied with where you're spending your time. And I just I guarantee you, what you'll start seeing is the fucking results. You'll start seeing the improvement. You'll just be happier in general because you'll be achieving things just. Any goal you want to achieve, you can achieve. You just have to be putting in the time and fucking working hard. <laughs> Simple as that. So yeah, that's just my thoughts on those two things. <laughs> Hopefully uh, that helps somebody in some way in terms of understanding it or whatnot. Um, but yeah, uh, I will see you guys on the next episode. I'm cooking up some ideas. There's so many things to chat about and I just love chatting this about this stuff. So um, please let me know if there's any specific topics anyone would like me to chat about. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.